focus groups helped companies test the popularity of their products. But how would people react to products that weren't real? In this social experiment, Nazim runs a fake focus group with five people who are in on the game. Plus Belinda, Mitch, Joe, and Athena, who have no idea what is about to happen. Have any of you been to a focus session before? No? No? All right, let's get to it. This is the Pettel D bigotry pet medicine. Pettel has found through their research that a dog can bark if it's bored, if it's hungry, and if it suffers from separation anxiety. Also, 22% of dogs bark because they are racist. So simply spray directly into your racist dog's face and your animal is cured. As you can see, now this once racist dog is now more tolerant and accepting towards people of colour. So by show of hands, who would be interested in this product? And Belinda can ask why you might not be interested in this product? I don't, I don't really know. Um, is it that you agree with racism or that No, you... I just don't think that dogs are racism. If I had a dog that was genuinely racist and that would fix it, then yeah, I'd probably buy it, yeah. What price would you put on attacking racism in your animal? Depends how racist he was. So what's the spray meant to do? Is it meant to like, what, stop them being racism? Yeah, there's actually a neurotransmitter in the brain and right. it blocks that neurotransmitter from its racist tendencies. Would you want to protect your Asian friends from a racist animal? If my dog was attacking Asians, I'd probably put it down. Don't, you wouldn't, don't you wouldn't purchase the product? No, I just want to know, if you, if you would rather have your dog put down than use a product, you never know with people. Not always as anti-racist as you might have hoped. Moving on to Race Appeal, which is Australia's number one race wipe, um, which boosts your appeal to other races. Beck, you're an Asian. I'm half Malaysian, half Australian. Okay, so would you find a white guy attractive? I'm attracted to women. Oh, okay, sorry. Or would you find Athena, someone that you'd naturally be attracted to? Um, I go for more like a Hispanic. Don't, don't take this personally. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Look, we're all honest in this room. Beck, would you find Joe? He's your racial opposite. Would you find him an attractive man? No. All right, so we're gonna try and race appeal. You need to wipe this on your neck and on your wrists. Give it a good wipe. Smells good. Are you attracted to guys or girls? I have to go with girls. Okay, <laughs> girls. All right, no worries. Okay. Let's just leave that sitting for a bit and see how that works. You weren't attracted to him before. How do you feel about him right now? Yeah, actually, look, that was really harsh of me before. Yes. It's all right. Yeah, he's a good looking guy. Can you feel that level of attraction increasing though? I don't know. I'm just it's making me a little bit flushed. Okay. <laughs> so how do you find Athena right now, Beck? Smells great. <laughs> smells great? Do you, do you think it's working on you in any... I'm feeling a bit like hot, hot flushes. I'm feeling that too, actually. <laughs> like I'm not just, yeah. Like... So, so you're feeling a hot flush? Yeah, I feel a bit hot, like I want to take my jumper off. <laughs> yeah. But are you feeling that she's feeling a little bit attracted to you right now? A little bit, yeah. Are you feeling like you have more sexual power at the moment? Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. A little bit more dangerous sexually? Yeah. 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 Sitting in front of a heater or something, I don't know. I'm still like blown yeah. away by the, yeah. the fumes. And Your heart's beating, is it? I feel it? like I've had about 10 Vs, to be honest. Yeah. <laughs> the next one is also um, a little bit sensitive. Uh, it's called Guns for Africa. It's a charity organisation based in Uganda that helps child soldiers by providing them with assault weapons and proper military training. Just $30 will buy an eight-year-old an AK-47 on the black market. Would that be something that you'd find reasonably priced? Belinda? No. Well, why is that? I don't think putting a gun in his hand is going to solve it either. What about a grenade launcher? No. What weapon would you think? No. Do you think $50 for a grenade launcher is some, is some good value right there? Hands up. And hands up if you think it's not a good idea. Okay. Some people care about children, some don't. <laughs> we're not looking to... Just trying to save some kids' lives. If you're going to cry about it, I mean, I'll buy it. So you'd buy it? If you cry about it, I mean, I'm not going to have a grown man sitting there crying. Okay, great, thank you. All right, so by a show of hands, who would buy it if I cried? <laughs> great, thanks. Fucking hell. I can't believe a grown man cried.